Hello, good Friday during Lent morning. I am Lisa Fry, the Catholic Unschooler, and today I'm going to give you today's reading out of the Church Bulletin. This is the Catholic Church. St. John, the book of St. John, chapter 7, verses 1 through 2. That means the line, the sentence. And also from chapter 10, verse... 25 through 30. At the beginning of this passage, a crowd of people are wrestling with the question of who Jesus is. At first, they entertain the possibility that he could be the Messiah. Then they use limited, flawed logic to dismiss that possibility. Jesus cries out with forcefully to the crowd to tell them they are wrong. Instead, grow in opposition to him. Unfortunately, no individual in the crowd is recorded as even saying, wait a minute, maybe we should think about this some more. In our time and place, huge crowds of people do not understand who Jesus, dismiss Jesus, and oppose Jesus. Very often, no one in the crowd, including no Christian, is willing even to say, Maybe we should think about this some more. Do you recognize situations in your life in which you should say something more for Jesus when the crowd is wrong about him in his teaching? If so, what will you do about this today? If you cannot think of anything you can do today in this area, maybe you should think about this some more. Now, it's true that we definitely do not want to be obnoxious. I know what that's like. I used to be obnoxious about it. And now I like my father's advice. My father's advice is to use God's wisdom in knowing when the right time is. Wait for opportunities. Don't just smash people over the head with it. That's rude. It's rude. God doesn't even do that, right? So... We want to use um, wisdom there and when to say something. And when we say something, we want to be absolutely positive that we know what we're talking about, okay? And we want to speak the truth, okay? If you know somebody's in trouble, say it, but also at the right time. You know in your spirit when something is at the right time or the wrong time, which does require a lot of patience. Don't mind my, my mess back there. Um, so, you know, just, it's okay to just be patient and, you know, ask God to help you to be brave. And if you are not a confirmed, uh, Catholic in the church, you have to receive all the sacraments and confirmation is one of them. And that's a very important one because it teaches you how to be a soldier of Christ. Okay. So, so. God bless you on this day. Think about how you can be more uh, courageous, kind about it, and patient about how to tell people about Jesus. God bless you today.